What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is back, and we are in moving effect. That's right, kids. Moving day, one of the worst possible days on the planet. I guess a lot more could be horrible, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows that moving sucks. No matter where you're going to, no matter where you're leaving, no matter the reasons, it's always awful. As you can tell, I'm not quite moving yet. I just picked up the truck, so it's a big, empty, cavernous space. But I figured I'd talk to you now rather than then, because I'll be in a much worse mood after moving a bunch of stuff into a truck. You'd think by now I'd be an expert at moving. Why is that, you ask? Well, this is my 17th move in 14 years, and they've all been atrocious. That's the truth. Here's a rundown of all the moves I've done. So when I graduated high school, I moved into a dorm at the University of Windsor. Then from the University of Windsor, I moved back home for the summer. Then the next year, I moved all of my stuff into a house I had rented with my buddies. And at the end of that year, I dropped out of Windsor, so I had to move back home for the summer. And then I got accepted into this college in Hamilton, so I had to move into an apartment in Hamilton. That was kind of a big mistake. Back to the University of Windsor, I had to move all my stuff back there into another apartment. From that apartment, I moved in with my cousin Jeff across town in Windsor. From there, I bailed on Windsor completely for the last time and moved back home into Welland. From Welland, I moved into a place with my buddy Phil and went to college. Phil bailed. I couldn't afford rent, so then again I had to move back home. So I finished off college and then I moved up to Toronto. From Toronto I got a job actually back in Welland, so I had to move back into Welland in this little tiny apartment. From the tiny apartment I moved up into a bigger apartment that I'm pretty sure was cursed. So I moved from that apartment into the best apartment I ever had. Awesome loft, high ceilings, fantastic, but there was no heat. So I had to move out of that place in my grandmother's house, which was supposed to not sell for about a year and ended up selling two days before I moved into it. So then I had to move out of there into the apartment I live in now. And after I moved out of this place today, I'm moving here with my girlfriend across town. That's 17 places. I'm so sick of moving, you have no idea. The main thing is finding enough boxes to put your stuff in and then remembering which box has what stuff. And you try to mark it down, so you just start throwing stuff in, especially near the end, knickknacks all go in one box, everything, just put it in a box, I don't care, just find a spot for it. Then you're definitely looking for stuff later and you can't find anything. How come I can't find the can opener? Oh, it's with the laundry, of course. And so like right now, I'm split between the two places. Today's final moving day after almost like a week and a half of moving, just what I could move in my own car. You think that'll be cool, not too tough, just fill up the car, bring it over, unload it, come back, fill up the car, bring it over, come back, fill up the car, bring it over, blah, 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 blah. It never ends! But I've learned a few things over my years of moving. Rookie mistake, getting boxes that are too big and making them too heavy. You find a box that's enormous, like, man, I can fit so much in this, it's gonna be awesome! And you fill it up and you go to lift it and you realize, holy smokes, I just filled an enormous box full of hardcover books. Milk crates are ideal. They're sturdy, you can stack them on top of each other, and you can never fill them up with too much stuff that you can't lift it up afterwards. Corduroy Paco, tip of the day. So carpoolers, I hope you liked this one. I hope you liked it so much you're gonna subscribe to it. Hoping you're gonna check me out on Twitter. Wish me luck on this move. Remember if you're moving, don't get boxes too big. One more thing you can remember, check your mirrors.